Houston, Houston, can you hear me? No, just kidding, we are not on the moon. We are at ELA Berlin Air Show 2022 and it's day one just started and we are here in the Space Pavilion. You know, Airbus is doing commercial airliners, helicopters, defense, but we are also the number one company when it comes to space in Europe. And we are now talking to somebody who's living the dream of many, many engineers. Okay guys, as promised, we are now talking to the man who is really living the dream. We are talking to the head of the Airbus space exploration Mark Steckling he is the man of the moon of Mars the man of the universe hi Mark how are you doing hi Flo I'm doing really fine and it's you are right it is moon Mars and it is even beyond okay we are not going so far beyond because we don't have much time but tell me the whole space hall is talking about going to the moon where does this fascination come from now and you're really right it is really a fascination going to the moon and the reason why we are doing it is completely different to what we have done in the 60s we are going to the moon not only to explore not only to discover we are going to the moon in order to stay there and this is a completely different motivation than for the apollo program okay and um, airbus has a share in this project and the the big project is called artemis and there is orion tell us a little bit about where we stand and what this project is about the Artemis mission is the overall mission that wants to go to the moon first, but then also to, to Mars. What we are contributing as Airbus is the element that really propels the astronauts to the moon, brings them safely back to Earth, it provides power, energy, oxygen and water. So all that is needed in order that our astronauts are going to survive. That means we are flying you to the moon and back again. Absolutely. Sounds great. Now, there is one thing I don't really understand. We as mankind flew to the moon already in the 60s of the last century. So why this fascination? I mean, why is there any challenge or what's the challenge now? You're absolutely right. We have already done it in the 60s. But this time, as I said, it is different. We're going there in order to stay there. And then we want to go beyond moon, which is going to Mars. But there are also some practical reasons why it is very reasonable in order to go to the moon. The first one is on the moon there are resources that do not exist on Earth. If you take helium-3, which is the fuel for fusion, and if you take that and bring back 20 tons of that fuel, you can fuel the complete Earth for one year climate neutral. And the last point is that certainly we are not going only there to moon in order to stay there, but the big ambition is really to go further into the universe and to establish a human presence in the universe. Okay, Mark, what a fascinating project, really. It's incredible. And now tell us if somebody who is watching us now wants to be part of that dream, live the dream like you do it, or being an engineer who says, okay, I'm fascinating about it. Can they be part of it? What's, what's the, the possibilities there? Absolutely. Space exploration is on one side fascinating, on the other side it is growing. So by end of this decade, we will witness that people are living on the moon. And so far we need talented engineers, we need talented people in order to support us, in order to make that dream come true. So apply at Airbus and we always have a place for you. <laughs> okay, that sounds great, what an offer. So to everybody outside, if you're interested, if you're an engineer or whatever, and wanna be part of this project to the moon, then let us know. Thank you, Mark, for that uh, very interesting chat. And uh, stay tuned, next clip is coming. May the Air Force be with you.